What's up guys, in today's video we are at Bass Pro Shops shopping their Black Friday specials. So we are here, I'm getting a unit, that is the reason why we're here, we came so early. I know I'm starting it inside but I didn't have time to do the outro outside. So I'm going to start the day from the beginning when we're ready and in line. We're finally moving, we're going in now. Right, we gotta get to the units, we gotta get to the units, we gotta go, go, go. <laughs> The main reason why we came here so early is because I need to get one of these. I'm getting a unit for my boat and I did not know how quick they were going to go. So Luke actually ran out to go see if there's any tackle deals going on that we missed in the ad. So I mean if he's got any clips I'm just going to cut to that but I'm going to get a unit now. I just got some uh, some marabou and some thread and some fly hooks. Not like there was a deal or anything but I still needed some so might as well. They're holding my Lawrence unit behind the desk. So we're going to go look around. We're going to go look in the hunting section. I recently just got into hunting so we're gonna take a look at some of the deals they got who's gonna kind of show me what I what I need to get in the general area but you really can't they just changed the law here you got to be 21 to buy ammo now so dumb but hey we're gonna go look around and see if we can find anything all right we just looked around in the hunting section for a good 10 minutes maybe we just looked around at some stuff they really don't have too many deals in that area but we are gonna go back to the fishing section that's my spot right there. So we're gonna go back, look around, maybe buy some stuff. Also, if you guys are new around here, please hit that subscribe button. We are approaching 30,000 subscribers. We're getting really close. And if you guys are already subscribed, hit the post notifications. And let me know down in the comments if you guys already have post notifications on or you guys just subscribe. I'm gonna try to respond to every single comment on this video. I usually don't buy too much stuff here on Black Friday. And to be honest, there's not that many fishing deals. There's a lot of deals on guns and stuff and obviously the units, but I buy almost my tackle at the Bass and Saltwater Expo in January. That's where I just go crazy. There's so many good deals there. There's not too many that I'm gonna jump on here today. We're just kind of looking around, messing around, and Luke's looking at more fly tying stuff. But we're gonna keep looking around, see if we can find anything that catches my eye. If it catches my eye, I'm gonna get it. You thinking about buying anything? Yeah, the spin fishers. The pen spin fishers. Yeah. yeah, those that had a really good deal. They're Usually, what are they usually? 130 something? Yeah. 140? Something like that, and they got it for $69. It's a pretty good deal, especially because he does a lot of saltwater fishing. Look at this. Squirrel tails for almost $6. We just went hunting for some the other day. Yeah. <laughs> we could have got $5 for that squirrel. Alright, what'd you get? Some fly tying stuff. Fly. Some marabou. Some fly tying equipment. There you go. All right, I'm gonna head back to the fishing section see if I can find something. I didn't come here with the list The only thing I came here for was that unit and I did get it I I was really scared when I saw that line when we came here, but hey at least we got it right here I need some of the good jig heads I haven't had some of the good jig heads in a while and these Gamagatsu ones These are some of the only jig heads that I have not had the hook bend out on me before These are pretty much the only jig heads that I trust so we're gonna pick up a pack because I'm completely out of them I'm too scared to buy one of these to fish with them. I really really want a jerk bait, but right there that that kills me though I really want one, but it's just it's just way too much in my opinion to pay for a jerk bait I mean if I fished with it like once before and I got a feel for it But I've never fished with it before so I don't know how it's gonna be and it's thirty dollars Oh, I'm gonna get one one day, but right. just not today. Just not today I'd like to see a bass hit this thing this thing's like nine inches long. It's like the size of my hand. The thing is huge. Compared to the other. Yeah, that's ones. that's like the normal size spook. And those are a little bit bigger than average, but I mean like that thing is huge. Right here. This is my favorite spring lure right here. I'm not gonna pick up any because I already got a bunch of them back at the house. But right there, that's swim bait. If you're not throwing that in spring, pre-spawn and post-spawn. You're missing out. There is so many fish. You just beat the bank with one of those with a little jig head. You'll catch fish big and small on those swim baits. One more thing that I am going to look at. I'm looking to buy another spinning reel and I got to go with my baby. I got to go with St. Croix. So we're going to look around. We're going to try to find St. Croix. This is what I do. I come here. I pick out an action I like and then I go to the show in January and then I buy it then for like literally almost half the price. I got one of my Mojo Basses from the show for like 90 bucks. It's super cheap. So I'm not buying too much stuff today. And actually a lot of this stuff is almost cheaper at Walmart, believe it or not. But we're gonna look through the rods and see if I can find an action that I like. 
and then we'll take we'll take a note of it and then we'll buy it in January. Some of you guys may know Luke has a G Loomis and these ones are two hundred dollars. Luke got his for a killer deal. Like I wish it had some money. He got his for a hundred dollars. A G Loomis for a hundred dollars. I wish I had some money at that time. I really regret not buying one, but we just found the St. Croix, so we're gonna look around, see if I can find an accent that I like. What I'm looking for in a spinning, I'm looking for a spinning rod, like I said. I'm looking for a drop shot rod, a shaking head rod, and stuff like that. Just like some stuff that I can throw around with, kind of do everything. And this one. What action is it, medium? It's a drop shot and finesse. This is literally all I'm going to need this for. So this is what I'm looking for. It's got the super sensitive tip and it's got the back to back it up. Not many rods have that. But that is what I like about the St. Croix. They have the the sensitivity and they have the backbone to back it up. They got the Luz 2019 Luz Speed School LFS here. This is the reel that me and Luke, I'm pretty sure this is the only reel both of us have for uh, Yeah, you don't need another one. This is one. the 2019. So some changes that we did notice, they made the spool deep again. Better drag system too, or braking system. Yeah, uh, brake. And is it? it's still probably the same smoothness that it always Yeah, it's though. the same. It's the same. I, I actually like the shallower spool though, because then you don't go through as much line. I like the deeper spool on the other hand. You do? fit more line on, and I go through line so fast, it's not even... <laughs> yeah, I've never seen someone go through line faster yeah, than Bryce. Yeah, and that way, I'm not re-spooling like every two weeks like I normally am. <laughs> My friend Danny got me on these reels, and I'm going to get one eventually, but I want Luke to feel one, dude. You gotta feel it with line on it though. It is so different. The spool is a lot the wider. The casting ability is just Shimano Corrado, by the way. Dude, the casting ability is insane. Here it can cast go. a super light lure with no backlash. I don't have to buy flies. I just buy the materials and give it to him, and then he makes my flies for me. But I mean, they do got some stuff, but they do not have any of the good flies that actually catch fish around here. No, I mean, yeah, sure this is all like trout do, stuff. I'm sure some of these will they catch do, fish. They do, but dude, one time, guys, I was throwing my little code cracker at the dam, and then I, I don't know, I think I like broke off or something, so I was like, what the hell, and I tied on like a stone fly nymph that's like all this complicated crap, and I only caught like one, and on the code cracker, I was getting them every cast. The fish around here, like it's simple and plain, like that's literally it. It's got a little chartreuse tail and a white body and a little bead for a head. That's all they want, and we catch everything on it. We've caught from little tiny bluegill to six pound bass. This fly is amazing, and it catches everything. And Luke actually sells them. What's your Instagram? Uh, Luke underscore flies. So if you want to fly, go check them out. So I run all St. Croix, and Luke pretty much runs all these burritos. So what do you like about the burritos? I just like them. They got a lot of backbone, and they're really sensitive. I will give them that. They have a ton of backbone. But I don't think, personally, they have as much sensitivity as the Mojo Bass. Here, this one's definitely wait, wait, lighter, though. Uh... Yeah, I, I can feel it. But personally, just in my opinion... I think the St. Croix Mojo Bass has a lot more sensitivity oh, dude, and a Mojo's... little bit more backbone, but those are pretty... Guys, pretty price bulky. is right. The Mojos are better, but these yeah, are for the price, 100. For the price, I will give them that. That's a, that's a really good rod for the price, but I mean, I... I don't have a cheap taste in their rod. This thing is huge. Oh my god. Look at a musky fish with that rod. <laughs> I've recently got into crappie fishing lately, and I fell in love with the brand Callens right now, and Bass Pro Shots has a 50 pack, and their, their 10 packs are cheaper at Walmart, but I've never seen a 50 pack, and I'm pretty sure that's a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna get this, and then I'm pretty much never gonna have to buy jigheads, and I'm set for shad season as well. Oh yeah, so I forgot about this is that. Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this right here. Get some crappie stuff. But we're gonna look through the marine section. I really have never looked through this section, but now I'm a boat owner, so I need to take this time and not look at lures. I need to look at this and try to find some stuff for my boat. So one thing I do need, I need lights for the boat, but I'm not sure how we're gonna wire them. I know we need a bow light and we need a backlight. I have no idea where we'd put the backlight. And I think the bow light, we just put on the piece of wood with that the trolling motor's on. But we're gonna look around here and see if I can find anything else I need for my boat. I'm pretty sure these are the only lure deals they got in this entire place right now. Like I said, there were, we basically came here for that unit because that that's I'm not gonna see a price like that anywhere else. And But they're really, there's just like a bunch of new items. There's really not much for deals on fishing stuff. There was a few years ago, I got a 50 pack of Sankos for like $6. It was, I still have those Sankos to this day. That was probably the best deal I've ever seen at Bass Pro Shops. But they have their false, fall, no, spring fishing classic. 
and that's when we buy a lot of stuff too. They got like red eye shads for like $4.97. So that's when we buy a lot of stuff, just not right now. They don't really have too many good deals right now. You're good. Alright. What if I'm like <laughs> Alright. One of those guys. Right, so we're gonna pick up my unit and we're gonna head back and get some McDonald's because I am hungry. It's early in the morning. And I'm hungry. The sun's not even up yet, and we're still at Paz Pro Shops. So I think we're gonna try to install this unit today, attempt, but I think that might be a separate video. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There's a ton of amazing content coming your way, and you're not gonna miss it. Let me know down in the comments how you guys like these fishing fishing videos where I kind of go to Bass Pro Shops and like fishing stores and stuff like this. Just let me know down in the comments. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you.